Well, the flu has officially reached epidemic levels in the U.S. It's widespread in 49 states. Hawaii is the only exception. 20 children have died so far this season. Tony DeCopel has more on the outbreak. We thought he'd be fine. And now we're planning his funeral. Flu is almost everywhere right now, including Fort Wayne, Indiana, where Lisa Sanchez says her brother Jesse succumbed this week. This flu just devastated his body. You don't think that that's what the flu can do to you, but that's what it did to my brother. A viral respiratory disease, the flu flourishes in the cold, dry air of winter, but it varies year to year in reach and severity. This year, experts say the virus is especially active, and the predominant strain, known as H3N2, is one of the more vicious. We've seen a real surge in visits over the last uh, few weeks. Dr. Baruch Fertel is an emergency physician at the Cleveland Clinic. People in age groups that we don't normally see sick or hospitalized are being admitted to the hospital because they're presenting with severe symptoms. Flu-related hospitalizations nearly doubled nationwide last week, according to the CDC, as the number of children killed by the illness rose to 20. Disinfect the mats when they wake up from that every day. Parents and caretakers are waging a daily war against germs as the season peaks. So like all of our soft toys, they get washed. But experts say it's not too late to get a flu vaccine. Patients who did get the vaccine are less sick and less likely to have to go to the ICU. The vaccine is only expected to be about 30% effective against the H3N2 strain, but with another three months left in the flu season, that's nothing to sneeze at. And if you hate needles, well, here's another reason to hope for spring. The flu virus seems to suffer in warmer, more humid air. So we need another reason to hope for spring. Indeed. Tony, thank you.